So I think if you look at the mega trends in the automotive sector of being electric, connected and autonomous, and then you combine that with motorsport, that's effectively what you get. Robo Race is a combination of those, those two things. So we're looking at how motorsport can advance those technology areas, act like an R&D and innovation environment. Our cars are fully autonomous. You can only get that when you have artificial intelligence inside the car. So we're using a lot of machine vision processing, a lot of deep learning in the background as well, in order for the car to navigate the environment. But the, the key thing for us is that the teams that enter RoboRace are the ones that develop software. So the competition isn't around hardware. It's not like a traditional Formula One where you manufacture the car. It's all about the software that goes in identical cars. So the only performance difference is how good is your AI, how safe, how reliable, how performant is your AI inside the car. Yeah, we like to say that horsepower is now shifting or at least being complemented by cognitive power. So how intelligent is your vehicle? And that's something that consumers will buy on in the future. What capabilities does the car have? How can it help, help a, a human stay safe? How can it take over from a human? Or how can it actually uh, prevent accidents as well? I think motorsport has always played that role of, of bringing future technologies to life so that the public can see them, they can engage with them, talk about them. And it's exactly the same now with artificial intelligence and robotics. And that's really the conversation that RoboRace will stimulate, you know, how to build trust. Well, you can see objectively the performance of all these different AI systems that are out there. Completely different architectural approaches. Very similar to Formula One in the old days when the engine architecture was completely free. We're at exactly that stage with AI at the moment. So we'll see very different competing approaches and we'll see which ones are the most trustful. Yeah, I mean, the AI for Good Global Summit, we were there last year as well. So it was a, a fantastic event for us to attend. This year we're increasing our presence. So we'll have Robocar on display again at the AI for Good Global Summit. But we'll also be making some presentations about that interaction between motorsport, the automotive industry, but in particular road safety. And that will be our focus uh, during that event.